So let's see how to deal with false positive and how not to use the false positive button. Uh, unless you are on a POC or something very specific for, for production, I, I will stay away from using that button. But let me actually, to prove the point, let me actually go ahead and use it. Let's say that you have this particular event that is, keeps on coming and bothers you and say, well, I don't want to see this event anymore, so I'm actually going to go ahead and declare it a false positive, uh, any event on the category access. And yeah, from that uh, source IP, the 29 to any destination. Uh, come on, get out of here. And, and, and you uh, tune that rule. Well, let's actually go back. I mean, we don't have any offenses. Uh, we're clean here as a whistle. Let's uh, start with uh, clean. Oh, actually, let me close that offense. That's from a previous uh, video. Let me close that one. So now I'm clean as a whistle. And um, let's go into the logs, clean the logs, and replay the events that we had before. So we replay that event. And we see, actually, that's a bad sign. Remember that we have a dispatch a new event when, when the offense fires? Well, it's not dispatching the event, the event because the, the event is not uh, firing. And again, you may know that, oh, it's because you declared a false positive. Remember, you used this button weeks or months ago, and now your rule is not firing. How detect when these things bite you? So again, as, as we said before in the first uh, uh, the third video of this uh, series and the first rule that we created, you always need to go here and you know, you need to inspect your custom rule to make sure everything is being catched nicely, which it is in here, mm, everything looks good, but you go here where it says custom rule, that's your key. And my friend, when you find false positive in there, uh, that's a bad sign that the rule, your rule is not, is not firing because of a false positive. And precisely, this is the actual condition, so let's actually click on it and see that user defines for positive and uh, and, that, and another thing what I don't like to use that false positive button is that uh, the way of understanding this is not uh, very intuitive uh, because this is a, a, a category 4000 but the, the key piece here that uh, determines that this is what we actually tune as a false positive is that that uh, 29 address to any so that's the one that we actually need to remove to make sure that our rule uh, gets uh, firing again. So again, let's go back here, uh, clean logs, no offenses, of course. Let's replay the event. And now we should not be bitten by the uh, false positive uh, condition. And we are happy to see that custom rule, that if this patch event that helped us on the debugging, and uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to have and so we know that our rule fire uh, so if we will go to the offenses rule and when we refresh we see our offense firing as it, as it is again this is a one of the ways that you can deal with and detect that your rule is not firing because of false positives